So now we need to fit this curved steel butt plate with a widow's peak to the stock. Not too tough if you've got good sharp tools and some patience. Let me show you how it's done. To hold the stock, I'm using a stock maker's vise. It's unique in that the jaws swivel independently of one another and it's perfect for holding odd shaped parts like a gun stock. With the butt plate in position, you can see that there's not much wood to be removed. But let me tell you, it requires a lot of patience. The first step is to remove this nub, which was left on the stock when the tenon was removed. Once that's complete, I'll round off the shoulder at the top of the butt so that the butt plate can begin to settle in. As we remove the excess wood, the widow's peak will begin to make contact with the stock. A pencil is used to mark where the metal contacts the top of the stock. Then, I use a small chisel to cut away the wood inside the pencil lines. Once the majority of the wood has been cut away, the butt plate is coated with inletting black and tapped into position with the rawhide mallet. High spots are revealed by the inletting black and a scraper is used to remove this excess wood. The process of trial fitting the butt plate and scraping off the high spots is repeated until I've got nearly complete contact between the butt plate and stock. The final step is to install the screws. They have two different diameters, the threaded portion and a large shank which isn't threaded. I've selected two drill bits. The smaller one matches the minor diameter of the threads and is used to drill full depth, while the larger one provides clearance for the shank. After both holes are drilled, the screws are coated with wax to make turning them in easier. Looks pretty good.